Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. And in my household, it's me, my husband, and our eight month old little boy. I have a couple of new recipes that I plan on trying out this week. And I'm also continuing to work on using up stuff for my freezer, fridge, and pantry. So let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are having some grilled hamburgers and french fries. The burgers are from, the hamburger patties, I should say, are from our freezer. We had a big bag of hamburger patties from Sam's and we're using those. Had some pre-cooked bacon in the freezer as well. And then the hamburger buns also came from our freezer. I bought these at the beginning of the pandemic when it was really hard to find bread when I finally found some I bought a bunch of buns and stuck them in my freezer this is the last bag that we had in my freezer we used four of them for at one meal and then we just have four left for this meal so we grilled four hamburger patties we are having some french fries uh, red robin fries that I had in the freezer so we're having half a bag of that um, let's see here cheese slices I had in my fridge those are from Aldi's and uh, this is Howard's plate. He just has some mayo and then the bacon and cheddar on his, on his burger and the fries. This is mine. And I just added some spicy barbecue sauce from a local barbecue place. I just had some packets in my cabinet that I wanted to use. It's from Rudy's, which is a barbecue place around here. And we used this seasoning that I had in my pantry to season the um, burgers with. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am trying out a new recipe today. It is a stuffed crust uh, pizza. So I'm just using this Pillsbury Classic Crust, and I have a um, jelly roll pan here. I think it's like 15 inches, and I just have my pizza crust spread out. And I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. So on this um, uh, little tube here, it says to pre-bake your dough for eight minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I have, right here, I have eight little pieces of mozzarella string cheese. And I am just going to take the string cheese, and you may hear Harrison in the back, Take the string cheese and I'm just gonna roll it over kind of like that and kind of tuck it in, just like that. Squeeze some of the dough together um, that had come apart or had torn. So I think I pretty much have it all in there and covered. So um, in order to make it fit on the edges here, I did have to break off um, some of the cheese. So this is only like this small amount, like one little cheese stick I had to break to make it work. So anyway, I'm gonna pop this in the oven for eight minutes like it said, um, cause I do not want a doughy undercooked pizza. And then um, I'll be back. Okay, so the crust came out of the oven. Some of the cheese did kind of break through. Um, so I'm just gonna top this with some mozzarella and pepperoni, and we like a lot of cheese, so I'm gonna use a, probably more than I should. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this in the oven until it's golden brown. All right, you guys, so here it is. It looks so good. I forgot to put um, the Italian seasoning on, on camera, so I threw it on before I stuck it in the oven, but here it is. You can see the cheesy crust. Yum, yum, yum. So Howard and I are looking forward to this tonight. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some fried rice and beef bulgogi mandu. So I am using up this package that I had in my pantry. I mentioned um, recently on another What's For Dinner video that I have a bunch of these little Chinese fried rice packages um, from different companies and I just need to use it. I told you guys I'm working on my pantry. So I decided to use this one 
Not a whole lot of flavor again, unfortunately. I think I have two more packages to go and I'll go back to making my own fried rice. But in this fried rice, I had some fresh mushrooms and then I had some green onions that I had in my freezer that I bought and chopped up a while back ago. So I used up the green onions from my freezer. I always have jasmine rice on hand. Here is a mandu that I get from Costco. Howard and I really like it a lot. Here it is. I have one more serving and one more dinner left in the bag, and then that'll be finished. But we really, really like this uh, beef bulgogi mandu. If you like Asian food, specifically Korean food, you'd really like this as well. And I just pan fried mine. I always pan fry my mandu. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am trying out a new recipe tonight. It is called Southwest Beef Pie, and I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. But in my skillet here, I have a pound and a half of ground beef that I have cooked and drained and seasoned. To the skillet, I'm adding a half a cup of water and a package of taco seasoning. Now I don't have an individual package of taco seasoning, I just have a container of taco seasoning. So I added the equivalent of a package of taco seasoning. And then I am adding an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. And I am going to let this kind of thicken up a little bit and then I'll bring you guys back to show you next steps. Right over here, I'm sure you can see, I have a pie plate with two cups of crushed Doritos. So I am really looking forward to this recipe, recipe plus it's low carb. And um, so let me let this finish cooking up and thickening up and then I will bring you guys back. Okay, so my meat mixture cooked for about about five minutes or so. So I've got my pie plate here. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I've got some Monterey Jack cheese here. Of course, you don't have to use Monterey Jack. You can use whatever you'd like. And all I'm gonna do is layer it. So I've got my, um, I've got my Doritos down that I've crushed and I'm just gonna layer some meat on top. And then I'm going to layer cheese and then I'm just going to repeat the layers. All right, so I've got it all layered. I may have been a little bit too heavy handed with the first layer, adding too much cheese and too much um, meat sauce, because I don't think I had quite enough cheese and meat sauce for the top layer, but hopefully it'll still be good. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 20 minutes or until the cheese is nice and bubbly and golden brown. So here is the pie out of the oven. I baked it for about 20 minutes, so you can see it's still bubbling. So I'm gonna let it settle down for maybe five minutes or so, five, 10 minutes, and then I will plate up our dinner and show you what we're having for dinner tonight. All right guys, so here is our dinner all plated up. Here is the pie. And this pie makes um, six servings. Howard and I tried it and it's pretty good. I like the fact that it's low carb and um, was really easy to put together. So with it, I am serving a Southwest chopped salad. Um, this is the kit from Aldi right here. And here it is in the bowl. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I made a chicken strip salad using chicken strips from Aldi and I made them in my air fryer. And also we had some um, frozen pre-cooked bacon in the freezer. So I just microwaved that, added that, added some shredded cheese, a boiled egg, and then we are having some garlic toast on the side. The garlic toast is from Tom Thumb. We love this stuff, it is so good. I made that in my air fryer too. So Howard is going to have this bacon ranch on his salad, and I am going to try this Simply Ranch from Aldi. Um, it's supposed to be simple ingredients, no 
um, really crazy stuff in there. So you can see it right there. So I'm gonna give this a try out. Um, so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I went to my freezer. So we are having this um, pepperoni lasagna from HEB. HEB is a grocery store that's here in Texas. I did a haul not too long ago and I'll link it in the description so you can see what kind of stuff I picked up then. But we are having that and here it is on the plate. And we're also having some garlic toast and I talked about this before. Um, on other what's for dinner videos we love this garlic toast it is from tom thumb and it's pretty cheap i mean it's like two dollars and 25 cents and you get eight slices and this is what it looks like i made it in the air fryer and then i just made some canned green beans to go with it from my pantry these are from winco which is a grocery store so we're just having that so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time